can't put her finger in the trigger. Well, do right. That's bullshit. Hey, welcome back, fellow collectors, the Brave Store Review. I am your host, Brave, and this is the Bad Cube Warrior Sun Surge. Bad Cube Robots Old Timer Series 08 Justice Force, because he's out for justice. Uh, that was a terrible justice voice. Okay, so um, this review comes to you uh, by the virtue, you see, you see what I'm doing there, of the Chosen Prime, thechosenprime.com. Go there for all of your plastic crack needs and shit. Yeah. So, um, how do we start this? When I first got this guy, I was really excited. I'm still very excited. I like the figure very much. But having just uh, kicked it with my homeboy, kicked it. Can I kick it? Can you kick it there, Chip? No. <laughs> I haven't just kicked it, kicked it with my uh, my homie uh, Jason Brand from uh, Get Right Robot. Uh, big ups to Jason. Uh, well, no, big downs because Jason's a big downer. He brought some things to my attention about the figure, and it's really just uh, made me look at it through, uh, let's say, blurry glass. No, no, sharper, sharper spectacles since that time or since that conversation. And uh, we'll get into that. But first things first, let's deal with the most important part of this whole entire review. And that is Chip Chase. What's going on, Chip? Chip Chase comes to you by virtue of the uh, Bad Cube team. And it's been a long time. We've been waiting for this Chip Chase uh, little figure to come out. And I'm telling you right now, he's sorry as shit. But it's okay because he's a tiny guy. It looks like his head swivels, but it really doesn't. So, you know, if you play that too tough, it might pop off, especially in the hands of me. Um, we've got some uh, bullcrap knee articulation here. It's not really good. It doesn't really do much but did it again same time i guess he's not really gonna be using his legs though is he ha <laughs> that's fucked up yeah got uh some points of swivel points of articulation here at the shoulder um there at the uh hips and then at the knee uh the paint on this guy is pretty pitiful but not so trash that you would say that he's worse than spiky daniel so yeah he fits in the chair horribly should have had like a tab in the back or something like that to keep him in it. The chair itself is a piece of shit. Look at that. The mold, the mold of it is just really warped. The plastic, the paint job sucks. The silver is, sucks balls. The silver on this side, it looks like like a little kindergartner did like a little project with some like uh <laughs> with some what's that shit called uh with some play doh and made and sculpted this shit and painted it and they basically have no talent so they fail art class for this shit. But he does fit in it. He does come with it. He does go with it. Um, don't expect much from that. But be happy that you've got a chip chase. So it's it's really funny that I wouldn't do this before, but I'm going to do it now. So here we have um, a full lineup of shit that just makes no sense. Now, in all fairness, uh, at least um, one of these figures uh, comes from a third party line, which is a Chip Chase. So he doesn't he's expected to to match him with the rest of these guys. But the rest of these guys are all Takara Tomy uh, uh, originals and none of them seem to really line up. Okay? Cuz this is Raul, who I think I like better out of all of these fuckers, right? This is Raul, which he's still crap though. This is Raul, right? And you see how big he is. This is a uh, Spike, right? And you see how big he is. This is Daniel, and you see he's got his mother's hips, right? And then this is Spiky Daniel whose head is pretty Pretty much half the size of most of these figures so none of this shit really lines up and i would be grateful just to get a one streamlined series of all of the human figures third party companies if you're listening do that shit but they're grooving out to uh the sounds of blaster right now but that's chip chase the other way awesome here's your packaging for that uh sun surge warrior status 
Got him on the side. Got a little drawing of his face right there. Sweet. I love the back cube logo. For justice. I can't do that Batman voice. All right. So here on the back here, we have uh, some more artwork of uh, Sun Surge. We've got, they got the tech specs on the back here of, of the uh, box as well. A bunch of shit I can't read. Some shit that I can't read. No contest. I am the best. No contest. I am the best. Sun Surge is self-centered and he thinks he's the best on earth. Sounds like me. He loves his picture perfect look. Sounds like me. But looks down on his comrades. I don't look down on my comrades. Comrades. Even the other supercar Sun Surge is agile and has a blah, 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 and all that shit. So yeah, that's the packaging for Sun Surge. Really looks nice. It, it falls in uh, the line of what you've gotten so far from Bad Cube. Um, yeah. All right. So he comes with um, some replacement parts for the chrome that he has. Right. You got the wheels. You got the, uh, the little the spoiler deal here. You got the uh, ex the, the uh, air vent exhaust. And he's got a replacement face there. He's got screws and he's got a screwdriver. Awesome. Look at that screwdriver. That's what I that's what I live for. Screwdrivers. Here's the close up of the extra face that he comes with. I think he just got a little smirk on nothing too serious. He comes with two uh, collector cards. Um, both are pretty pitiful card stock, but they have a nice finish on them. Kind of shiny. Now, I typically don't fuck with directions. I typically don't care. I just open it up, show you real quickly. But in this case, I think I'm going to take a little bit more time to show you this. Um, I really like the manual. I really appreciate the manual and the time it took to put it together and do it correctly. So inside of the manual, you have more art. You have um, more of the story. And yet again, his uh, tech specs here. You have a count. You have a, a piece count for everything that he comes with. And I really appreciate that's pretty cool. It's got the numbers. It's got the names. It's got it in the different language that i can't read awesome is contents and then you go through the directions they gave you a side view vehicle vehicle mode they put a lot into the directions. it's almost as if everything they used to um, design the character they actually went on and put it inside of the booklet so the booklet is not just directions but it's also basically a diary if you will of the construction of this figure the directions are pretty good i, I typically have a hard time following some of these directions because they usually suck now here's what i really i really want to get to they show you how chip um became a paraplegic <laughs> stop fucking with this guy this this is what I want to get to. In the back, there's a concept art gallery, and it's really freaking cool. This is the uh, Sun Surge. Uh, which one was this one? Uh, robot mode, vehicle mode, uh, Sun Surge. Oh, yeah, Sun, Sun Surge from the other world. This is more like a, a Cybertronian uh, Sun Surge mode, and I really like this. I would love to see them make this one. It really looks good. I hope they would. They probably won't, but it would be really cool if they did. Um, on the on the inside here, you also have some oil painting uh, artwork of of uh, Sun Surge side swipe, uh, warring it out. You know, get it, getting it in. And yeah, you have some more artwork in here. So it's really art uh, intense. And I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, thankful that they put that in. It's really cool. It's just a little bit of extras that make you feel like, yeah, this was worth my money. Now, having said all that, let me say this. The reason why they did that shit is because this is not a $100 figure, straight out. Now, one of the things that I, I did notice when I first took out the packaging was how light it was. Now, we all know that in some cases or many cases, we equate... Um, uh, weight with quality it's not always the case because there's great quality there's great detail great attention and love put into this figure it's just not the heaviest figure the plastic is not the the most uh, strong like it's not it's not let, let, let's let's say it like this it's not as hefty as this guy who i'm still waiting for his replacement arm Oh, <laughs> it's not as heavy as this guy. There's no die casting him or anything like that. And I think something like that would have really pushed it over the top and really earned that hundred beans that they uh, demand from you. But at the same time, he's not as light and flimsy as this guy who's just not even whatever. I would say he's um, still better than this guy. As far as the weight, the quality, of, and the feel of the plastic, yeah, I would say, well, in most places, he's better than this guy. There are some pieces on here, but we're going to get into that now because we're already probably, I think, around 10 minutes. So let's get this thing dang on, ding on, dang on going. We train like we fight. And so he comes in car mode, so we we're going to go from car mode. All right, he comes with... Um, this is his weapon here. It's got a, like a little uh, hinge deal here. So you can fold like this so he can hold it. Or you can fold it down like that. And by virtue of this uh, long peg, you can tab it into here. 
and bow bow and there we go his weapon is now placed on the hood of his car i would not do that why would you do that no car rides around with guns on top of it but okay fine he has these uh little uh, rocket things that go on his hand they are a single cast and then they're covered with the little chromy chrome right that's cool and by virtue of these tabs they can fit onto his hand sockets now something that i want to point out when you get them in package, these things are on it, and you got to take it off. Now, it was really tight on there, and so it caused, here, check it out. It caused some of that finish, which takes me back to the original point that, that I was incorrect on. This is painted on. It caused some of that uh, paint to uh, come off. You can really see it on that one. Not a real big deal, but just want to point it out so you can know. And now, here's the deal. When you go to put it back on, because of that, it might fit a little wonky. All right, take that shit off. All right, so... Taking a look at the uh, Lamborghini mode, one thing that I really like that stands out from the from the beginning, other than the fact that it just really looks good, these little window things are a soft rubber. This is something that could have been used in that TFC uh, iron wheel. That would have been really good, and I wish more vehicle modes would be would, would utilize these little rubber um, rear view mirrors instead of hard plastic. So that way you don't have to worry about it popping off. You can bend that all around. It's not going anywhere. Just want to point that out. Hey, third party companies, if you can hear me, pay attention, goddammit. All right, so um, here you have the chrome on the air vents, the chrome on the uh, spoiler chrome wheels with rubber tires. And it makes that noise. I love that noise play with that man um the yellow i love far better than the mustard on this guy let's start supposed to making a hot dog and they spill mustard all over him so i like that yellow the yellow looks really good not a lot going on in the way of paint on this guy you got yellow plastic um uh contrasting the, the black uh plastic here which is the black paint i'm sorry over some of it you got a little black accent right there um the back they, they try their best to make it as official as they can you got a little bit of chromy chrome right there with the clear headlights but um crap i don't have anybody in vehicle mode right now so you maybe i'll transform somebody hold on so here we have a partially transformed Lambor, um, just because I want to show you uh, the differences between the two as far as the tail lights and things like that go. Um, it kind of reminds you of Turbo Team. Remember Turbo Team, where the guy eats something hot and he transforms into a car? This is a government laboratory where a top-secret experiment was underway. I swerved into the path of Dr. Chase's molecular transfer ray, causing me and my car to become one. incredible turbo team okay yeah so um you can see the rear and how different the the back of the vehicle is and this is possibly more so because of the transformation requirements of this vehicle but still i just wanted to give you a quick show with that i want to transform them all away because you know i gotta uh, do this review man i got time for that shit so yeah there's a lot of detail this guy took an undercarriage and you don't really you can't really tell there's a robot in here at all i really like that i really enjoy the fact that you can flip them upside down and you would not know well i mean common sense will tell you it would be but at the same time if you knew nothing about transformers you would not know that this guy was actually a robot in disguise <laughs> yeah so you got a little uh check this out you got a little um uh pipage molding under there and that's pretty cool it says something here bad cube which is their uh so it's got like the company brand there and their uh trademark which is cool made in china awesome um and you got the uh, fake hood remnants there. Okay, so that's that. You got the headlights right there. Some nice line work. It looks pretty cool. Lamborghini symbol would be right there, but it's not really right there because this ain't official. And they don't want to get sued. All righty. So, um, all in all, the vehicle mode is pretty nice. Uh, I just wish that it was. It had some die cast in it. It would really stand out more, give it a little more weight if it was just stronger. All right, let's get into the transformation so you can see just how in-depth this thing is. Work with me because this beast will eat you up. I'm serious. All right. So for transformation, first thing you want to do is uh, separate these panels here and bring out this door. And this is this is problematic. So we're going to do our best to get it. I mean, it's tight. Oof. It is tight. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. First thing you want to do is bring these up. All right. Separate these portions here. You got some tabs inside of there, some tabs there. They tab the hell out of this thing. Unlike um, what we saw with uh, Backland and Brawny, you know, the concerns were, were they tabbing and shit like that? 
this guy is tab secure. So uh, you got some tabs here, you got some slides there, bring all this up, like it's the hood of the car. And that's kind of really cool how they incorporate that into the transformation anyway. So, you know, you can sit there having like a little car show and you can have his hood up. All right, that's enough of that. All right, so we bring that out. Now you can get into those doors by sliding this piece back a little bit, makes it easier, and you can get that door out. And this is on a, on a hinge as well. And I think that's cool. It's what was really cool, the, the ingenious of the engineering on this thing is that portions of the transformation also go along with um, if this was a real car and how it would open up. So you got the Lambo doors on it. So you can have like a little rap video, like a little Kanye West video or something, right? And you ghost riding the whip with your Lambo doors up and your hood up. Cool. All right. So with that accomplished, let's go ahead and separate these portions right here. Rotate that down. And bring those feet out like that. And you're going to get some separation here. It's all good. There you go. Just like that. All right. Come around to the back. All right. This is what I do. Come around to the back. Bring this down and take this portion and separate it from the vehicle as well. Like that. And just fold these pieces out. Like that. All right. And then you'll start seeing everything comes apart now. And you actually want that. Because this portion right here needs to be separate anyways. All right. Take these portions here and just swivel them for clearance. Uh, like that. Ooh. There we go. And this is on a hinge as well, so you don't have to worry too tough. It's going to flip up like that. And let's rotate it this way. There we go. So now we can bring this piece on up and around and out of the way there. And it's not cooperating with me, you son of a bezo. Take it off camera right quick. Straight. And we just took it off camera so I can uh, get in, because it's hard to do this on camera. Get, get in so I can get in and just bring this around this area right here. And not that it's, it's, it's hard or it's a major clearance issue. It's just that this, the plastic, it's not, it doesn't, it's not the stiffest plastic. I'm just going to put that out there. So I'm, I'm trying to be really careful of, um, of cracking or breaking anything. Um, and and not, that it, not to say that it would, but you also have a lot of clear plastic, translucent, translucent plastic here and there throughout this hood piece. And I just, I, I haven't gotten so familiar with the character that I can just throw it all around and rough it up like that. I'm not doing that with my shit. All right, so here we go. We got that there, we got that there. All right, this piece right here, you gotta do some untabbing or some funneling and fiddling, right? Now take this whole piece here and just bring it up. And it's okay, it's gonna feel scary, but it's okay. This all feels scary because of how light the plastic is, but it's okay. Trust and believe when I say that. You're going to hinge inside of here. You got a hinge there. You can bring it up. You're going to see things loosen up. It's all right. Some things are really tight. It's all right. Take these wing, these windshields and rotate them in just to get them out of the way now. All right. Take this. Take this whole section. You got a spinning hinge here. On a single pin, just bring it on and rotate it all around. There we go. Now we're looking like we know what we're doing. We're doing. All right. Um, while you're at it, you might as well go ahead and bring these windshield portions for the fake chest down and get them out of the way. The name of the game is get as much stuff out of the way. Right here, you can see how there's a, a gapping there, and then it kind of cuts back in. That tab clicks onto this portion, this little lip right here, if you can even see that, all right? So, um, also, you're going to slide. See, these these should be slid in. You're going to slide that in like that. You're going to bring this portion, and just it's going to sound scary, but you can do it. And this is the stuff that really just frightens me with this guy, but you can do it. Take it. Take it. Do it. There you go, and it just snaps in place, and that makes this whole portion of the leg sturdy and strong, right? Also, while we're in here, you can take a look at the um, base of the foot is on a ball joint right there. All right, so now you just take this and close it back up, just like that. All right, good to go. Under here is your uh, heel spur. Just pop that out like that, and ba bow. All right, and now you created a gap. So if you want to uh, make them taller or shorter, you can do so. And it just rests in like that. All right. Now, um, but before you go in and, and fix that elevation, go ahead and rotate this portion here down like that. Now, a portion of this is you can leave this out if you want to make this leg feel wider, thicker, bulkier. But it looks stupid with the gap. So um, once you bring it down, you're supposed to collapse it in like that. And there we go. Um, you can see that his head is kind of tucked. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You see where his head is? Awesome. So um, separate those legs and get his dick out of his face. All right. By bringing that back like that. Okay. Now, um, you would think we were getting to this piece right here, but no, we're not getting into this piece yet. What we're going to do instead is 
take this portion, clear that, get that clearance, and swivel that waist. He's got a waist swivel. And before we go anywhere, we're going to take these pieces here and bring them down, closing up that uh, hollow gappy gappage back there. And that takes care of that. Now he's standing. Spur. Okay, so arm pieces here. Let me see if I can get you in closer. You can see because you're going to need that clear. You're going to need that clear view of it. You can see through there that you have um, some hinges on. You got you got a hinge here by virtue of a screw there. You got a pin there giving you a hinge as well. And you got the swiveling deal right here, which you can't see behind these arms that this is also a hinge. So this, these por this portion right here is two different pieces. All right, you guys should see where it connects there. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this portion here and we're gonna just separate it and fold it down. I think that's really dope. I never have an argument or a complaint about the ingenuity of the figures that come from Backcube. The engineering is always top notch. All right, so you separate those pieces there, right? And then you see those two hinges I showed you earlier. You're gonna now take uh, this piece and bring it up and take this piece and bring it up as well. Um, at the very same time or as the next step, uh, by virtue of this hinge here, we're going to rotate the arms up on both sides. And then this is also going to be the shoulder socket, right? Because you have a ball joint inside of there, right? You can go ahead and just spin those around. Can you do it? You can do it. There you go. And we'll come back to those arms later. They're not a big deal for right now. All right. These guys right here irritate me because they're on pins, but they're just flippity floppity. And it's so sickening. Okay, let's run this back. I've opened this section up again so you can see it clearly. Okay, so the way this should be is, okay, I'm going to rotate this back. All right, so this is the separation point, just to give you a good point of start of, to start with. All right, you're gonna fold these down like this, all right? This is on a hinge right here, and, and then this is on the hinge as well. Go ahead and rotate that down like that. So now you have it facing this way, okay? So open tabs, tabs should be here where you see the yellow at, okay? How about that, it makes it easier. And then take this whole piece and just fold it down like this All right so now you have the yellow base portion of it facing you you can see that the out the back portion of this whole hinge deal here and just let it sit there like that don't worry about it it's not going to hurt anything no reason to be afraid now at this point you can bring uh these portions these side portions up which form the sides of his torso you can um, like that and then you can make sure these guys are rotated out so you can get the clearance there you go and that kind of just closes this whole area in with the wheels facing down just so you can see it there you go just so you can see it there you go all right now before we get into all of this portion all of this stuff right here with the head and the chest and all of this crap we'll leave those arms for last Take the backpack. You can see a tab right here. You can see a slot right there. We're gonna just take that portion and we're going to tab that in like that. All right, that tab's in there in that way. This portion here on the back, you got a double hinge here with these gray pieces, right? Fold that like that and then just bring it forward and lay it flush. I mean, lay it flat on its on its back against the hood, right? All right. This part right here is gonna it's on the hinge. There is gonna fold down, and you can see here on the inside. There's like a little little slot gap deal right there, and that's where that's gonna fit right there. All right. I just bring that in there, and it's gonna just sit just like that, just like that, and it's all coming together now, isn't it? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. All right, so now with that accomplished, you got a double hinge here. Make sure these portions come out a little bit. Bring that down, bring that up just like that. And I think this guy, yeah. See that tab right there? There's a slot right there. You can bring that piece and you can put it on in there. And that kind of secures that backpack, backpack portion of the transformation. Right, cool. This portion right here is gonna rotate out like that. That's gonna rotate out like that, and I'll tell you why in a minute, but you can see that there's some little uh, slot holes right there, right? Cool. Take this chest piece, rotate it up. There are some tabs right here and slots on the inside of that windshield. Just, let you, just, just to kind of secure it a little bit 
and make sure you got it in position correctly. And that just kind of comes with a system like that. Now, you're going to see some, uh, you got some pin holes, some, some peg holes right here. You got some tabs right there. All right. Take this piece right here, this piece right here, and divide it. It's on like a little butterfly deal, double hinge. Make sure it's completely spread all the way out like that, all right? Once you've done that, you can bring it in. So you've got the tabs right here. Cool. It's a lot of tabbing. It's a lot of pegging, but at least it's secure, huh? Right. Those two square hole uh, tabs come in through here, and then there's also... Um, round pegs on the back that fit into these uh round slot holes there so everybody's got somewhere to go damn it there we go and just kind of get it in there real good get it in there real mm, good like that and you can see the little curvature uh cut out there that allows it to um, fit around the windshield portion there like that okay now huh <laughs> You can take, you see this little tab right here. Remember that slide I showed you earlier? Take that piece there and just fold this whole thing. Just fold it back on this hinge and tab it there. And that's going to secure that backpack. Bring it on around. Pow! Backpack secured. We are so almost there. All right. Separate uh, that forearm from that shoulder. Take this piece right here, which is the little shoulder spouts. So on the double hinge there, bring it all the way out, rotate it up, and bring it back down. You can see the little curvature right there. That's how you want it to be. Same deal here. Do it again. Uh, good job. I'm going to have a hard time trying to shorten this video and post. All right. And there we have him. Oh, wait. Forgot one thing, didn't we, Buckaroo? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Okay, so um, you got these openings here. Uh, where are they? There you go. You got these openings here on, on these pieces. I guess it's to make it easier for you to get your hand in here to separate it because it is kind of a bitch to do it. Um, but whatever. Do that. Do that. And there you go. And before I go any further, on the other hand, see that peg right there? You remember that rocket I showed you earlier? Take that rocket and put it on there. And now you got a rocket hand. Awesome. You got that rocket hand there. Yeah, and then for the other weapons, if you so choose to, you've got storage in the back. You store uh, both rockets there on these pegs, much in the same way they would be stored on the weapon, um, like that. And then you can take the weapon here by virtue of either one of these pegs. Uh, I think I've been using this one because this one is so rubbed down. And, um, oh, no, actually, it's, it's the other way around because of this... Um, uh, uh, rise area there, the area that's risen or rise or whatever, whatever the fuck I'm talking. All right, so peg that inside of there. So now he has weapon storage on his back for both of his weapons. Sweet balls. Okay, cool. Now, this is the completed robot. This is the completed uh, Sun Streaker, and uh, he looks great. I like him. He looks good. I, I definitely like this figure. Um, the portions that I don't like, I've always said, and you can adjust the shoulder height to whatever makes you happy. I don't like them too high because I feel like the way this whole this whole uh, uh, top portion here was engineered, it makes the head sit a little bit low. The head is on a swivel with a hinge. I don't know how I... I don't really think I like that. I don't know how I feel about that portion because it just looks weird how this sinks in. Let's see if I can get you in there close so you can see it. Yeah. I mean, because this is a flat air. It's just, I don't know, it's something, something just weird about that. But it's not it's not horrible or anything like that. Uh, I, I would think the most horrible thing is those feet, those big duck feet. I can't stand these damn boat shoes, dog. I cannot stand them. You, you can adjust as much as you can. And I know it's like that in the cartoon, sort of. But I just don't like that. And there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, so I'm not even going to spend a bunch of time crapping on it because it's... What can I do? All right, so you got double articulated um, uh, elbows here. You got a ball joint on the shoulder, plus you got the uh, hinge with the hinge here for that. So you get a good range of motion here, right? You get a really good range of motion because of that. That's that's really cool. Um, you got the fingers all on one pin there. You take that gun. Let's see how well he holds it for you. Once you rotate that piece down, uh, you got a tab inside. I see everybody, all these companies are on the tab deal now. Tab that on in, and he holds it better than that damn MP held his weapon. So, yeah, there we go. 
Uh, let's see. Got the swivel. Got got the waist on the swivel here. Cool. You've got uh, the universal joints here at, at the uh, at the hips and thighs or whatever the case is. Um, so you can get all the way out. You can get all the way down. You got a thigh swivel up here. Uh, not much of one, but you got some of some. You got the little drawers piece on the flap right there, and you can bring that all the way up. How far back? Pretty far back. Cool. Now here's a point that I will. Here's something I will point out. Um. I don't know how everyone's is. I can only speak for mine. Jason showed me his, and he had some issue with the knees being floppy. Mine's aren't floppy, and I'm flopping it pretty good right now. It's not floppy at all. So, and we can do that. That's, that's on, that was on the uh, on that second articulated point. Let's do it on the ratchets and see how it goes there. It maybe may have moved just a bit, but it's pretty sturdy. So I don't have that problem with mine. In fact, I don't know. Some guys got it. Some guys don't. I do not. All right. Having said that, we got double articulated knee joints. That's pretty cool. Uh, that swivel for the uh, for the ankle is pretty decent. He can do some little dynamic shit. I don't like that tire right there. I don't like the feet. But that's what it is. So, yeah, you got that. Um, you can get all the way down them toes. He can do like the Matrix. <laughs> He's got that there. So you can do that as well. Uh, let's see. That comes loose. I don't like that. Uh, for all the tabbing on this guy, I don't understand why there's no tabbing to secure this portion. I really don't get that. So, yeah. Um, that's him. So the yellow looks really good on him, just as in with the uh, just as it is with the uh, car mode. Uh, you got some nice detail that, that really comes through in the robot mode. Uh, you got some, you got a little bit of silver there that's supposed to be like a headlight in the in the um, the bumper here with the black. That's pretty cool. That's nice. You got a little bit of red and black inside of that leg portion there, and that's really cool with some some more of that silver color there. But then it, overall, it's just a whole lot of yellow. But at least the black comes through to break up that yellow and kind of uh, diversify your color palette just a little bit, not by much, just a little bit. Translucent fake ass chest plate some people like it some people don't some people hate it I, it doesn't really bother me as much you do have that backpack on the back but i can live with it i mean head sculpt is pretty dead on i like the head sculpt i do like the head sculpt uh for those of you who cannot stand the fact that he has a fake chest you're gonna have to make some decisions because looking at the uh other one uh omnigenics or whatever the hell is i don't like the way their chest looks it looks too big this at least represents the cartoon um far better it, it, because his chest was not a huge windshield there so you know you have to make that choice on the back you can look at the backpack move that rocket is in my way you can see that there's a lot of shit going on but it does collapse rather well he's got a little bit of that carryitis how carry has that backpack with all of that crap collapsed on it but it does clean up rather well so i do like it and the chrome against the back does look pretty good it's not anything that makes me feel like i want to spit so having said that i think i can live with it it's not so terrible and the most important part is that it hides the other windshield so you're not walking around with two uh windshields and so here we go here we have them together and this is what you've been waiting for right this is what you go through all of it for so you can get that uh side swipe and um sun streaker together side by side right um and for some reason i'm not i don't feel fulfilled i do not um but it's not because of Sunstreaker. It's more because of Sideswipe. So now I'm getting the feeling that I want a third-party uh, Sideswipe with a chest that's more correct to the... Uh, that's, that's, that's more uh, accurate to the cartoon. His, his chest in the cartoon was a little more angled, whereas the, the whole problem with the mold on this guy is that it's, it's his chest is so wide and so blocky don't get me wrong he still looks good i always liked him i still like him but i just um i don't feel that he uh when you, when you get something it's this, this is the way it works something new comes along and it makes it harder for something old right and uh even though we knew this was never really side this was never really sun streak when it did him in yellow or whatever the case is uh we just it's just not the picture perfect Sideswipe for me anymore um 
this guy is so close to where he should be as far as uh, Sunstreaker goes, and that's that's just my that's just my opinion. Um, that this is no longer enough for me for my side swipe. Um, how does that reflect on him? Or does that say something good for for uh, Sunstreaker? I'm I'm guessing so because even with the hate that I have for his feet, he still overall looks really good, and he's still a, a really really great representation of the uh, Sunstreaker character in my opinion. Now, some of you may um, disagree with me. If that is so, uh, you're supporting terrorism. Not just playing. <laughs> uh, if you disagree, you disagree. Agree. Hey, let me know about it. Put it in the comments. Tell me what you think, what your overall opinion is of it. I, I'm pretty sure a big portion of that would be arguments for the uh, fake chest and for the feet. And as far as the feet goes, I am right alongside with you. Um, again, he feels great. He looks great, but he doesn't feel excellent he doesn't feel perfect and that's more so attributed to the plastic that was used uh if you want to get your hands on this guy which you should check out uh tcp the chosen prime.com that's where i go that's where i get it that's where i'm loved so that's where i'm happy you should be there too all right hey thanks for watching thanks for subscribing thanks for sharing as always until the next review i am your host brave take it easy man